and welcome to the Disaster Zone! I am in the middle of a project that I was trying to save for next year. We're getting countertops this week. Honestly, by the time that this video is live, I probably have counters in my kitchen. Ah! So I just, I was looking forward to just relaxing. But the truth is, is I have no idea how to relax. My brain is always going a mile a minute and I like to stay busy. So I started a project that I have been wanting to do for quite a while now, but didn't really know if it was like silly to do. I, I don't know. It just, it's, it's a silly project that I think is going to make a really big impact. I started on this yesterday and it's already like, it's already better, even though my house is now just an absolute wreck. So let me tell you all about it. Very first room that we tackled when we bought the house was my office. It's been done for about three years now, but as I've talked about before, I feel like everything in this house is like in phases. So I guess we're moving on to office phase two now. I didn't mean to do this. I just, I just couldn't help myself. So as you can see behind me, all of my shelves are empty. And that is because I have always hated them. Like, listen, they're awesome. I love having built-in shelves, but I do feel like they've always looked unfinished. Like somebody slapped some boards on the wall and called it a day. I've talked about this as well. I feel like since moving into this house, I have become a big trim fan. I want all of the decorative trim. So I realized that these shelves would look so much better if they just had some trim on them. That would make them look a little bit beefier, a little bit more finished. I just feel like they look unfinished. As well as looking unfinished, it has always driven me crazy that they don't reach the ceiling. They just stopped about two feet from the ceiling. And I just feel like adding those extra few inches up to the ceiling would make them look a little bit more built in. Like there's no questioning, they're built in, they're on here. But like, they just look unfinished. So we're fixing that. Let me show you what I got done yesterday and then we can work together on what I wanna get done today. I have no idea how much I'm gonna be able to finish or what my plan is. I just wanna keep working on this because I feel like I made a mistake by like making my house a mess. I don't know if you guys ever do this where you just like dive into a project and then when it's time to end it for the day, you're just kinda like, why did I do that? That's kind of how I feel right now. My house is just, there are books and skulls and all sorts of things just everywhere. And I like things really neat and tidy. So I'm like so ready to get this done. Also, I'm just very excited about it. So yesterday I added some trim along the floor of the bookshelves. The whole reason that I did that was just so that the other trim that is going on the face of the shelves would have something to sit on. But it's actually kind of bonkers to me how much better just having this little piece of trim on the floor that it isn't even finished being painted yet. It's just not very exciting trim, but like it adds so much and already makes the shelves look more anchored to the floor. So I got that done yesterday. I also got all of the, I'm not sure what the right word for this is, all of the ups done so that the bookshelf does touch the ceiling. It looks a little bit silly right now, but also somehow better. It does look a little bit tall, but I am going to be adding crown molding. We're not gonna be able to do that today in this video, but I think that just even adding this top piece that I do wanna hopefully get done with you today will make a big difference in it not looking so tall. Either way, so much better than it was. So I guess let's get to work. First order of business today is that I wanna get a piece of wood up here that the crown molding will attach to. So what I just did up there was I made a pencil mark where the boards, like behind the boards, because the shelf does not have any like support back there, I'm just gonna attach a board to the ceiling so that the crown molding board has something to attach to. There is a reason I do not film like tutorials. It is because I'm terrible at teaching stuff and terrible at explaining things. So uh, you're gonna have to forgive me as I struggle through this, but we'll get it done though. Hold this up and see. 
So now that those top pieces are done on at least most of the shelves, I need another hand here because one of the boards is like bowed pretty bad and it will, it'll reach. Uh, I just need like another set of hands to push it up while I screw in. So that'll have to wait till this evening. But in the meantime, this shelf that's behind me, the top is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my next little piece of trim. My dad and I whipped these up. We just ran it through the router and it came out with this nice little design here, ignore the knot. As you can see behind me, I already got two of the up and down pieces put up, and then this is not attached, but I just wanted to see how it looked. I'm very excited. So uh, let me move you in a little bit closer and we can get started getting some of these horizontal ones put in. I don't have much done yet, but something that is making it a little bit frustrating is that instead of taking one measurement per section and then cutting like the eight pieces that I need, I just don't trust this shelf to be square at all. So it's just gonna be individual cut, fit, cut, fit, cut, fit, cut, fit. And that's gonna take forever. <laughs> it's gonna be worth it though. So it's the end of the day, it's like six o'clock. I'm ready to wrap this up because my knees are killing me going up and down on the horse. I finished up, so let's call this four, shell, four like separate shelving things. I finished up three of them and they have paint on them. The last one I still need a hand. Jeff will have to help me this evening, push that up. Not help me this evening, help me tomorrow because I'm over this. But I am so excited about how much I got done today. Let me show you how it looks. If I'm being completely honest, I am a teeny tiny bit nervous that it doesn't look as impactful as I thought it would. 
Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see when I get stuff back on it. And either way, at least I know that I tried my part. I don't know. I'm also thinking that I might want to add another shelf. So I just, I just added like sideboards up to go to the ceiling to make it appear to touch the ceiling. But I kind of think that it might need another shelf in there. But I also worry that then that shelf would be really short and what would I put in it? And I, it also might be like just a really good spot to put tall books for right now. So I will decide on that, I guess, honestly, maybe once I start putting stuff back on the shelf and see how it looks. Because it's not really a huge deal to add in another shelf. It's not like I have to have the room torn up to do that because, oh my gosh, the room is such a mess right now. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow or when I get the show back on the road. So it has been a couple days since I filmed. As you can see behind me, I have started putting the room back together because I got all of the trim done and painted. I'm still not finished. I have some stuff I want to talk about in a second, but I am so excited about how this turned out. I, I don't, I don't know how it appears in photos. I don't know if you can truly grasp what an impact this has made and how it went from looking like somebody just slapped some boards on the wall to like something that somebody created that is beautiful and finished and you know, uh, am I tooting my own horn here with that? I don't know. I just felt like it needed a little bit more pizzazz that this house deserves the grandest of trims and details and that sort of thing. And I'm working very hard at doing that one little tiny project at a time. And I feel like I did this room good. The room is still an absolute mess. It's driving me bonkers that I'm filming in it because it is so messy. I just really want to finish this video and get it up so that that way you can see where I'm at. Let me show you some close-ups of the trim and maybe some like before footage if I can find some, hopefully I can, just so you can see the difference and see how cool it looks. My crown molding arrived, but I have not hung it yet because this project kind of spiraled. I feel like I reference this all the time. I'm very, if you give a mouse a cookie. So my first cookie was putting some trim on the shelves and now the glass of milk that I need is painting my ceiling. As I mentioned, this room was the first room that we tackled and something that I was very excited to try in this room was painting the ceiling a fun color and I love it. I have loved it ever since. But as my style has kind of evolved and progressed and I've gotten to know the house and know what kind of colors I love and like blah, 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 blah. Basically I've grown and I don't love this color as much anymore. I'm not putting this color down because I still think it is such a pretty color. It just doesn't necessarily fit exactly how I want it to with the rest of the house. So I've been tossing up the idea of painting it for a while, but it just kind of felt like, oh my gosh, that's like a really big task. But now it feels like, hey, why not? Because I have to paint the crown molding a color. It's not just gonna, it's not gonna match the walls, it'll match the ceiling. So no matter what, I'm painting some part of the ceiling and I just figured, hey, why not? So while I was getting more of the shelf paint, I actually turned around and was like looking at colors and I found the color. I just have to go buy that. I might even do that today just because I'm so excited. That is where we're at right now is that I am going to paint the ceiling a new color and then hang crown and the shelves themselves will get crown. I think that will be my stopping point for this room. I mean, there's a bunch of other things that I would love to do eventually, which we can talk about next video. I know that I had mentioned the new shelf that I added, shelf, I just added some boards on the sides might be a little bit tall, but I think I'm actually really liking it. It's definitely tall and you notice that it's taller right away, 
but it's kind of great storage for some bigger things, specifically my sewing machine. I'm so excited to have that off of the floor because this big desk that I'm sitting at right here is basically what I would call like my sewing desk, but it gets used for other projects like resin and pinning bugs and this and that. So like, I like to get my sewing machine off of it when I'm not sewing and it's just kind of like on the floor and I don't like to store things on the floor. So it's really cool that it's able to fit up there. Also, if you happened to catch the original video of this room remodel, which has since been taken down, you might recall that I had some trouble with my globe collection. My globe collection has still not found a home. I have some of them in my kitchen, but those have to be a specific color to fit in the kitchen. I also had some small ones on the shelves in here, but they just didn't fit up top. So they've just been in my attic. And to be honest, I miss them. Anyway, just adding that little tiny piece of trim on the front of the shelves has actually allowed me to put more globes up top. So not my full size globes, but these, um, I would call them like mid size globes that are made of metal. I have four of those and they fit up there perfectly, which makes me want to start collecting globes again. So I think that's a thing that's going to be happening here is that I am now back on the hunt for globes, specifically metal ones that are in like the mid size range because they're going to be perfect up there. Like I love the way that all the globes look together. So if I can have that again in this room, that would be awesome. And it would be so fun, especially because it feels like a full circle moment where I really thought like that was going to be the big visual focus in this room when I first moved in and it wasn't able to be. So that's a cool thing. So anyway, that's where we're at right now. I feel like this was a really successful little project. It didn't take too long. It made an absolute mess of my house, which I'm still recovering from. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you next time.